Hey, what's going on, guys? JetXC. Hopefully, some of you were able to pull up to my stream. If you didn't, just check out my uh, live feed. I did a whole stream for a good two hours. It was pretty fun. I answered a lot of questions, and we went over just about everything you can brown dust to. So, real quick, um, I will have a video up about my pulls, but I did go pretty crazy. I got Vanica to plus one. I'm actually going to be pulling more copies, but... A lot of you are probably wondering, like, hey, is she worth the pulls? Out of all of these three, you know, is Vanica actually worth it? I would say yes, absolutely. Um, by the way, she says, mic test, mic test. I was wondering what she was saying when I heard her, but that's what she says. So, she's absolutely worth it. Um, I would say if you have the funds, get her to plus one. If you don't have the funds, then of course then just try and get a copy of her but this is the summer event so i know a lot of you are going to go for her anyway um so let's take a look at her upgrades so like i said the reason you get her plus one is for the sp cost there's no damage change at all really now what's interesting and i'll demonstrate this but she decreases the enemy's magic resist by 50 percent and then deals damage so apparently she does the magic shred first and then deals damage which makes her really good now me personally because i have a a lot a pretty heavy built magic team i'm going to try and get her to oof this is tough i'm gonna try at least getting her to plus three but yeah she's she's very useful especially for the fact that she can shred before she attacks right so if you're asking my phone a verdict, absolutely pull for uh, DJ Vinica and get a copy. And remember, she's not limited, so you have other resources to get her, like Golden uh, Threads and also Powder, uh, the Powder Shop. So real quick, I just want to randomly try this out. I want to see if this will work. Um, so I've, I really don't have anything on her right now. I haven't built anything, but I'll show you what I have. I literally have this on her. I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, but I really want to demonstrate how good she is. I, Again, I don't have anything good on her at the moment. Um, shoot, what do I want to do? Actually, you know what? This is perfect. I'm going to just do an evil castle floor. I forgot to do floor 6 of the pride tower. So it's dark. Um, so I'll be fine. But I want to test out her shredding capabilities. So we're just going to do this one right here. And let's see what she can do. I'm going to boost her up a bit. Um, perfect. So I'll do this. I'll let her shred. And then I'll let Dalvi... Oh, wow. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're going to see how much DJ Vanica could shred. And again, guys, this isn't a max damage build like I showed you. I just want to see how much she shreds. And I want to look at the effects on the characters as she goes through her cycle here. So let's take a look. Okay, so first buff. Second buff. Ass in your face. Gotta love that. Oh my god. Never get tired of Dalby. Okay, so I think I killed somebody there. I was not paying attention. <laughs> okay, I killed one person. So. Wow. Hang on. I, I just obliterated them. Okay, so I can tell you right now. That magic resist shred definitely helped contribute to Dalvi's damage. Now, my Dalvi, her OG skin, I have her plus five, and I obviously have this one maxed out too. Um, but yeah, I was able to do 56k with that, so that's actually not that bad. Um, and again, she shredded at before she attacked, so that's the important part. Um, so that just gives you guys an idea of kind of what to expect with the damage. That was pretty okay, right? Um, so Overall, um, she's very good. She's very worth it. If you guys have any questions, please let me know on uh, DJ Vanica. I will answer any and all. So, yeah, guys, I am out. Later. Oh, actually, 
one more thing too, guys. Uh, if you're looking to try and get her, um, if you're looking for something to buy, definitely buy this. This is actually worth it. You get a good amount of pulls for sixteen dollars, and apparently, if you buy the monthly pack, you can buy the monthly pack multiple times. The initial amount of gems you get, uh, immediate reward plus daily reward for thirty days. Uh, what's the immediate reward? So you get 700 gems instantly. So if you buy multiple of these, um, let me see the second one. If you buy this 7.99, 7.99, and then get another one of these, you can actually um, you can actually use that for this step up draw. I saw this on Reddit. Somebody mentioned that instead of just buying flat out uh, the money. For getting what two thirty five four thousand forty seven hundred fifty five hundred or fifty three fifty four hundred right you can just buy multiple monthly packs and that will suffice in getting you the right gems so pretty cool um, so yeah guys that's it for me if you got any questions let me know in the comments I am out later.